congregation, it, it's probably a good sign that you need to leave immediately. I mean, who, who stands on a chair as a grown adult? Right here has texted people without coming to me. Look, if he had a problem with my doctrine, shouldn't he have come to me? Yeah. Or should he be going behind my back and backbiting, going to other church members who never asked his opinion, mind you, never even asked and said, hey, uh, Chris, what do you think about Pastor Anderson's son? He just texts them because he saw them on YouTube defending me. So because they were on YouTube defending me, he takes it upon himself to rebuke them for the defending the pastor of his church calls my statements wicked and evil. And listen, this is, you know, I know your, your buddy Ashley Yakton lets everybody get up and say whatever they want. But in this church, it's not a free for all. It's not an open fight. You don't come to this church and pretend to be a faithful member of the church while you're going behind the pastor's back. Did you ever have the guts to confront me with that, Chris? Huh? Did you ever have the guts to confront me with that, Chris? No, you didn't even have the guts, you coward. Like you guys want to go behind my back. I want you to get up and get out of this church right now. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Okay? Oh, here's my people. You're a human scary. Layla. 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 Simulator. Backbiter. I don't care if you're saved or not. You don't come to this church and backbite the pastor without even having the guts to confront him yourself and go around and say all this stuff, huh? Why do you want to be here, Chris? If I'm tampered with the gospel, there are 40 other independent Baptist churches in this town that are King James only that don't, quote, tamper with the gospel. So why don't you go join one of them, Chris? Why are you even here? Oh, really? But the pastor makes wicked and evil statements and tampers with the gospel. That's not a great church, Chris. You're right. Disagreeing with, disagreeing with what I preach is not a reason to be kicked out. You're right. Because listen to me. No one in this church agrees with me on everything. And that's okay. Because we're all different. We all read the Bible. We all have the Holy Spirit. No two Christians are going to agree on everything. That's fine. No, I've had people come up to me and say, Hey, I don't agree with this doctrine. I always tell them, That's okay. You don't have to agree with me. You're welcome to come here. But there's a big difference between not agreeing and calling the pastors preaching wicked and evil and accusing him of tampering with the gospel behind his back without ever bringing that to me. Do you see the difference, Chris? Get out of here, idiot. Pick him up and take him out if you want me. Take him out. Hey, get out of here. I didn't ask you. You've never even been here, fool. Get out. Get out. Get out. You don't just walk in here and start telling us how to run the church. We got a bunch of filthy out there protesting us right now. We're in a battle right now. Get out of here. We had to ask your advice. Pick him up and get him out of here if you want me. Yeah, that's fine. Take your time. Now look, if I, I will listen to people who actually are members of our church who actually attend here, not a first-time visitor. If somebody, if somebody thinks that there's a reason why they should be allowed to stay, let me know.